Time for sports now. Seth Goldberg joins us with a positive weekend for our football teams. It certainly was, Joe. Both teams with a good weekend. And with the way that the football season has gone so far for both the Jets and the Giants this year, there are only a couple of things to play for this time of season. Besides pride, of course. One of them is spoiling another team's playoff hopes, which I think players always like. And the Jets had the opportunity to do that Sunday at MetLife Stadium against the Steelers. It all starts out in their home stadium, full of Pittsburgh fans and terrible towels and Sam Darnold silences them early finding Robbie Anderson for the score Anderson's being pretty good as of late it's seven nothing Jets the defense doing their part as well a couple of interceptions early including this one by Terrell Basham but the offense couldn't capitalize going three and out later Darnold is knocked down the ball comes out and the Steelers do take advantage cashing in just three plays later tying the game at 10 before the half in the second half the Jets leaned hard on Le'Veon Bell 19 second half carries on his way to a season-high 25 in the game. But the star of this one was safety Marcus May. He saved two touchdowns all on his own, including this final pass deflection, sealing the Jets' fourth straight home victory. And for the day, the Jets play spoiler, momentarily knocking the Steelers out of the final wildcard spot with a 16-10 win. That's something that we wanted, wanted to establish of when we play at home, we're, we're a tough team to beat. And... Being able to start it like this in, in year one to say, hey, you know, we're five and three at home, that's, that's a positive thing for the program. Another thing to play for in these end of years games faced the Giants, and that's draft position, of course. The loser of Sunday's game between the Giants and the Redskins would have the inside track at the number two pick and Ohio State stud defensive end Chase Young. The Giants got a spark on offense in this one from Saquon Barkley, who looked like the offensive rookie of the year that he was last season. 67 yards for the score here, part of a career-high 189 yards on the ground. That makes it 14-7 to Giants. Meanwhile, Daniel Jones looking around before ultimately finding, you guessed it, Saquon Barkley from 33 yards out. He had 90 receiving yards as well, a Giants franchise record 279 at scrimmage yards in the game. Giants up 20. 21 to 14. Jones, meanwhile, had his best career game. This was his fourth touchdown pass, giving him 22 on the season. That ties the Giants rookie record, and he would not stay tied for long. In overtime, Jones striking again, his fifth touchdown pass of the day, giving the Giants their second straight win. And Daniel Jones, how about this, becomes the first rookie in the NFL's 100-year history to throw for 350 yards, five touchdowns, and no interceptions. Good to get a win, but like I said, we, we won last week, and and I you know certainly enjoyed that. So, um, you know, good to good to get two in a row. That's kind of what they envisioned when they drafted uh, DJ and drafted me. Um, you know, I think we both have uh, the potential and the talent to to you know play well together. The Rangers suspended one of their top prospects today. Elias Anderson had formally requested a trade after not reporting to his minor league assignment earlier. So the Rangers put him on the suspended list. He won't get paid until the Blue Shirts trade him. Anderson's been disappointing, posting just nine points. That's three goals and six assists in 66 NHL games. On the ice in the garden, things took a better turn for the Rangers. They had lost three in a row before this one this afternoon, but not today. The first of Chris Kreider's two goals was the signature moment. You see it right there. The Blue Shoots cruise to a 5-1 win. College basketball, Seton Hall trying to build off their win over number seven, Maryland, during the week. Took the Pirates a little bit to get going until about midway through the second half against Prairie View, but in the end, it's a blowout as the Hall wins by 20. 20. Elsewhere in New Jersey College Hoops at the rack, Rutgers held Lafayette to just 13 first half points, cruised in the second half. Miles Johnson with a career high 18 points. The Scarlet Knights have won three in a row. They're 9 0 at the rack, 9 and 3 overall. 63 to 44 is the final. A good weekend for the local teams, Joe. 5 and 0 in the highlights we just saw. Yeah, we don't have too many days like that around here, so we'll take it. Thank you very much, Seth, and uh, we'll be back right after this.